A colonial era plantation house in Bukit Sembawang will sit atop a new park, which is among the amenities to be built for the residents of an up and coming housing area in Ishuan. Chencheru, bounded by Ishuan Avenues 1 and 2 and Sembawang Road, will also have an integrated development comprising a hawker centre, bus interchange, shops, and residential units. Other new amenities planned include an educational institution and nursing home to cater to residents of different age groups, the housing board said on June 12. Chancheru was made up of plantations and farms in the 1900s and was subsequently redeveloped for recreational and commercial uses. It housed plant nurseries and the former Bottle Tree Park, which later became Auto Leisure Park. The area was identified for residential use in the Urban Redevelopment Authority's 2019 Master Plan. By 2040, about 10,000 homes will be built on the 70 hectares site, at least 80% of which will be public flats, National Development Minister Desmond Lee announced in March. The first built to order BTO project in Chencheru, comprising one, 270 units, including two-room flexi, three-dash, four- and five-room flats, will be launched before the end of June, HDB said. It will progressively launch the rest of the projects in the coming years. The board said its plans for the area will pay homage to Chancheru's history and heritage while incorporating smart and sustainable features into the developments. Precincts will have convenient public transport links and be connected to recreational spaces to encourage people to walk and cycle as part of their commutes. At the centre of the estate will be a footpath that connects the new park on the west to the existing neighbourhood park near Katip MRT Station on the east. A new bus only road called Chancheru Link will run from the north to the south of the estate to provide dedicated road space for smoother bus journeys. HDB said. There will also be walking and cycling paths that link to neighbouring towns like Sembawang and to recreation nodes such as Katit Bongsu Nature Park, Lower Silta Reservoir and the upcoming North-South Corridor. HDB said the first BTO project in Chancheru will incorporate features of the more than 100-year-old bungalow at 50 Bosun Po Road. The two-story bungalow, a plantation house built in the early 1910s by Bukit Sembawang Rubber Company, was preserved by the authorities for the new residential area. Taking inspiration from the bungalow's architecture, with its floors raised above ground on masonry piers and columns, the BTO project will have a black outline on the first few stories and a red, black and white facade that mirrors the colours of the house, it said. The new park will be built around the bungalow, which will be repurposed for community uses. HDB said the park, located adjacent to the BTO project, will have playgrounds, fitness corners with exercise equipment, open lawns and hard courts for sports and a therapeutic garden. It will also have a heritage trail with a series of gardens and storyboards for residents to learn about the area's history. Together, these features aim to promote social connectedness, active lifestyles and mental wellness among residents, HDB said. Two tenants in Lorong Chancheru that were popular with the public and had to vacate their premises to make way for the new developments, will be relocated to a nearby site adjacent to Home Team NS Katib. They are Ground Up Initiative, a non-profit organisation known for its focus on sustainability and community building, and the Live Turtle and Tortoise Museum. HDB said this will not only enable existing community activities in these unique recreational spaces to continue, but also create opportunities to forge strong social bonds with new residents of Chancheru, thereby enhancing the identity of Chancheru as a vibrant contemporary campong. On smart features, HDB said homes will have provisions to facilitate the adoption of smart home solutions. It will also implement initiatives such as a smart lighting system, 
which allows HDB and town councils to monitor lighting in common areas in real time. Reducing the need for manual checks and rainwater harvesting systems where applicable.